Hi, I'm Katrin. Welcome to my channel. My passion is storytelling and that is what you find on my channel. I do the overall story of Margit Sandemos book series, The Legend of the Ice People. It's a fantastic family saga which extends over several centuries. That is what I'm going to look into in my video today. Every book in this story stands on its own. You can come into the story anytime. Before I will start with a new book, I will give you the legend behind it. Once upon a time, many centuries ago, Tengel the evil went out to the wilderness and sold his soul to the devil. He became the forefather of the ice people for wealth and power. One of his descendants in every generation would be cursed to serve the devil and perform evil deeds. Their disgusting features would be yellow cat eyes and they would possess magical powers. Some say they will never be free of this curse until they unearth the urn containing the potion that Tengel the evil used to summon the devil. It is said that one day a child of his blood will be born, gifted with knowledge and wisdom, the like of which the world have never seen before, who will end the family curse. So says the legends, but no one knows if it's true. In the 16th century a cursed child of the ice people was born. He tried to turn evil to good, and therefore he was called Tengel the Good. This saga is about his family. In the first book, Spellbound, we get to know Silje Arngrim's daughter. Her whole family died from the plague. At the age of 17, she has to create a new world for herself. She went to Trondheim, but the plague have ravaged heavily there too. She found a very young girl beside her dead mother. Celia could not leave her there. She took her with her. She named her Sol. It was freezing cold, and to reach the bonfire they had to walk right through a forest. And there in the forest they found a newborn child. It was left out to die. This child was abandoned by the noble lady Charlotte Maiden. Celia named him Dog. Suddenly she had two children to take care of. Then they met Tengel of the Ice People just as they approached the bonfire. He asked for help. He wanted her to help him save Yang Hemming. He was captured and was on his way to be executed. Celia pretended to be his wife. She said that they caught the wrong man. She managed to save him. Tengel was a human beast in Celia's eyes, but he was there for her from time to time. And because of him, she was accused to be a witch, and that she conspired with the devil's disciple. Tengel, Celia, Sol and Dag escaped up to the hidden valley of the ice people. Celia and Tengel got married up there and have a daughter. Leave. She is not born with a curse. The next book, Witch Hunt, starts up at the valley. Hemming have been captured again, and to save his life he gave the valley up. Tengel and his family have to escape again. Celia contacted the woman she believed was Dog's mother. She told her that the boy was alive and need of help and Lady Charlotte and her mother, Lady Baroness, helped them. In exchange for Lady Charlotte to be part of Dog's life, they offered Tengel and Celia both a home and work. Tengel works as a healer and Celia as a painter. She paints wallpapers. They get the second child, a boy. It was Are. He was free from the curse too. 
they are so relieved of that. The children have grown up and dogged the move in with Lady Charlotte up at Greystone home when she revealed to him that she was his mother. Soul who have inherited the curse practice witchcraft. She have a problem to stay good. She have killed four people who threaten her family. The forest is filled with sounds. It rustled in the treetops. The pine swayed in the storm. They squealed and they bent down. It crackled and it squeaked in their branches. A pale autumn moon occasionally slipped behind the clouds. Sule laughed out loud and she ran through the forest. The violent weather intensified the feelings in her. She became intoxicated by it. She was an adult now. She felt so free, free as the storm. She has Hannah's bag again. Tangle gave her the bag on her twentieth birthday. And earlier today she had said goodbye to them all back home at the Lindali. It is time for her to leave. Her younger brother Are escorts her all the way down to the port of Oslo. In port stood a ship that was to sail towards Denmark. They rode on horseback, and when they got half away, she managed to convince him that it was okay for her to take a shortcut. The shortcut was through the forest. We can meet on the other side. Are hesitated, but he let her do that. Uh, then I will get you safe down to the port. It was Lady Charlotte who arranged the trip, that she got a place on the ship. Soul was going to travel with an elderly noble lady. The old lady did not dare to make the trip alone. Soul had behaved exemplary in recent years. Otherwise Lady Charlotte would probably not have dared to arrange this trip for her. Yes, she had behaved. But she only did that so she later on could live the life she wanted. It had not been easy. The hardest part was to listen to the noble people's smear of the people she loved. Like the noble lady who talked bad about Lady Charlotte. Soul was so angry with her that she have made a little doll. She have even got a hair from the woman. She sewed the hair into the doll. And when she was about to put a needle into the heart of the doll, she realized that this was something she can't do. Tingle was very happy about her work, she knew that, and the patient almost trusted her as much as they trust him. She felt it. Sometimes she had used drastic measures in the treatment to get them well, but nothing so dangerous that it hurt them. And she had not killed anyone. Her penance was over, thanks to that she had a need for a sense of freedom. Therefore, it was important for her to cross the forest herself. Hanna, I am free now. Now it's my time, our time. Sul plans for the trip to Denmark differently from the family's plans. Sul was aware that Denmark arrested women and accused them of being witches constantly. But they were not witches, only neighbors who betrayed them. It was different with the real witches who were passing through the country. Hanna had talked about where she could find them. She was now on the way to visit them. There were not many real witches, she knows that. She was one of the few. Entangled too, of course, but he did not want to have anything to do with it. He threw away his power to do good things. She was expectant. She became eager. She had to stop and look in Hannah's bag. It has been several years since she had last looked in it. The content looked intact. The mandrake was there too. The mandrake was her most important possession. The mandrake was a herridge found in the Mediterranean countries a long time ago. It was pulled up from the gallows hill. 
where a murdered spilled his seed at the moment of death. The mandrake grew in that soil, and the human-like rood had screamed so badly when it was pulled up. It is said that the witch who pulled it up on a Thursday night in the full moonlight went mad. So is the legend told. Sool picked it up and held it in her hand. It was bigger than her hand. She can see that someone carved on it. It may have been Tengel the evil one who did it, her ancestor. It is said that this has belonged to him. She was sure he used it in his brews. She knew that you can use it as a love potion. To kill someone with and to draw wealth to the one who own it. A leather strap was attached to the mandrake. She put it around her neck. It almost felt that it was alive. Now she was protected by the most powerful amulet, the most auspicious talisman in the world. She came to think about Dog. He was already in Denmark. She was looking forward to meeting him. He is studying at the University of Copenhagen. He studies law and order, a knowledge he will be able to benefit from when he moves back to Norway. Dog has already lived in Denmark for a year and a half. The family back home was sure he would take good care of her when she got there. She knew her family was hoping that this trip would give her a job opportunity, that she would make new contacts there. They probably also hoped that she would be introduced at court. Dog's classmates were high of birth and hopefully could find a husband for her among the time. Marriage was not something Sul thought about, but she liked the idea of being introduced at court. They may be attractive men there. She has not been close to any man since Klaus the farm boy. It was not a satisfying memory. There must be more to learn about it. When she left the Lindali, both Silly and Tingle had tears in their eyes. And when she left them and went through the Lindali, she passed the newly planted tree. The old tree was cut down. It was Lady Baroness tree. It had died the same time as she died. Lady Charlotte have weighed her off too. Sul can now see that she have reached the river. She can now see smoke from the chimneys in Oslo. Are stood waiting at the edge of the forest as they had agreed on. Are was Tingle's only son. He had now grown up and become a teenager. He had high cheekbones and his hair was pitch black. He was not like the other siblings. They were all beautiful in their own way. Are was not beautiful. What you see when you look at him is strength and calm. He is down-to-earth person. Sul thought that the quality he possesses were more valuable than being beautiful. He followed her all the way down to the ship. He waited with her until the old lady met up with them. The old lady was pleasantly surprised when she saw Sul, that she would be accompanied by such a beautiful woman. Are stood on the quay and waved until she no longer saw her. Sul has thought the crossing would be eventful, that she would be able to take part in lots of fun things. She had been foreseeing she had brought something against seasickness. She was a bit disappointed there was not a single man she could spend some time with, all suffer from seasickness. The old lady also began to feel unwell, but Sul helped her, and the old lady was so grateful. Only the two of them stayed on their feet throughout the trip. But Sul enjoyed the trip anyway. She was standing on the deck and enjoyed the waves crashing at the bow. She laughed heartily when the boat dives deep and went up with the waves. She understood now how protected she had been at home at the Lindali. 
Dog stood on the quay, waiting for her. He saw the boat coming to halt and then docking. The old lady had a carriage standing waiting for her there. Dog was happy to see her. She gave him a big warm hug. Little brother, you are very handsome. He was really eye-catching. His eye was grey as steel. He had blonde hair. His clothes was modern. Life in Copenhagen have shaped him. The way he looked is very different from how he dressed and looked like home in Norway. He can see that she looks around. She looks at the woman who walks by. Is this the way I should look like? I must look like a farmer's daughter. He can't help it. He laughed at her. He have always admired his big sister. She is beautiful. I don't know how I will manage this. Manage what? To keep the admirers away from you. Why keep them away? She giggled when she said it. Dog took it as a joke and she let him take it like that. I live close by. Let's walk the way. Let me help you with your box. Shall I carry the big bag too? You don't have to do that. I carry it myself. How we sit with everyone at home? Everything is well at home. Charlotte sends her love, of course. I have both letters and money to you. Wonderful. Oh, dog, this is wonderful. So exciting. Look at all this. All the houses. Oh, they are so big. Mother Charlotte feels alone now, I suppose. Yes, I believe she is. She longs for you, to you to come home. Mother Sylvia and Mother Charlotte is spending a lot of time together. And the others? Well, Tingle, um, he was good when I left him. He helping the poor ones. He tried to uh, narrow it down to a few a week, but you know how it is. If someone travels from far away, he cannot deny them. It was hard this winter. We have a plague swept over the country. Tingle forbid people to come up to the house and we survived. You know, we ice people are strong. It was only your grandma Baroness who didn't make it. Yes, I know. So sad. I, I grieve her very much. Me too. She was fantastic woman. Tingle was heartbroken too. Those two had something special. There is something with Tingle. He gets older and older, but you cannot tell it. His looks the same. Don't you remember Hanna? <laughs> of course I remember her, and she got really old. She, then she smiled. So, little brother, now you know I will be terribly old. I will leave out all of you. Well, we just have to wait and see. Mother Celia, how is it with her? She is like she always been, kind and warm. I think she will be the same as long as she have Tangle by her side. She worked hard. She paint, paint and paint. Oh, now I remember. Leave is going to get married. Dog stopped walking. He stands still. What? But it's too soon. She is still young. <laughs> but she is more than seventeen. She is older than Celia was when she fell in love with Tangle. <laughs> Leave is so pretty. Dog's face was as of stone. Who is this man? Don't sound so angry. He comes from a noble family and that is good. You know, Leave does not. His father is dead, but he was a merchandise, so Lauritz is continuing in his father's footstep. Do you like him? Ah, he's not my type. They kept on walking. What does Leave say about it? And Sol, don't lift your skirt that high, it's not that dirty. Well, she doesn't say so much about it. 
<laughs> and you will be married too, I have heard. Am I? Yes, Lady Charlotte said something about the Lady Trolle. Did Mother say that to leave? Uh, she said it to all of us. I have not said anything about that. I just wrote in my letter that she was one of my classmates. Dog didn't say anything more about it and Sol continued. And Are, he is a wonderful young man. He is very calm and down to earth. He will be a wonderful man. I believe he will. I miss everyone very much. How is it with you, Sol? Do you have any man to marry? <laughs> me? <laughs> no, where shall I get any man who wants to marry me? They walked into a street with the more fancy houses. You have to be kidding me. You must have men caught you all the time. Sol became serious for once. Yes, there is a few, but, but I'm not interested. Dog, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I cannot fall in love. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't be afraid. You have not met Mr. Wright yet, but you do love people. I know you do. I think that we stop here for today with the first book, The Stepdaughter or The Abyss. Next on my channel I will look into the life of Morgan Jones. He is another character that I think is interesting to follow. He starts his journey in The Walking Dead and from that he went over to Fear the Walking Dead. In my next video he still thinks back to the time he spent with Eastman and his goat. After that I will continue with my Sansa Stark video. When I left her in my last video, they have just accused Littlefinger for both murder and treason. Finally we have some news about the next season of Fear the Walking Dead, season 6. It will have its season premiere October 11 this year. During season 5 I did my episodes breakdown. I ha hope to have time to do that during season 6 too. Some of my videos are published for a long time, others are removed quite quickly. If you don't want to miss anything or if you just want to support my channel, subscribe and click at the notification bell. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe out there and welcome back.